Hello YouTube, thought we'd do another video here on another antenna that can be made. Um, I guess, you know, from what I've been reading, this J-pole antenna, I guess supposedly outpour outperforms the quarter wave antenna. And um, that's from what all the different uh, information I've read. Uh, it's fairly easy to build. But you got to be real accurate with your measurements. Um, I'm going to post a link in the description to this website you see in front of you that lets you calculate the uh, measurements you need. And also, too, pay attention that um, the arrows are exactly right here where they need to be. So when you see an arrow like here, don't, you know, don't measure from here. You got to measure from where the arrow's at, where this pipe connects. Okay. Now, one thing that um, a person could do too is perhaps on this part right here, where the connector is, that normally they solder this and then they solder a, a piece of copper wire to here. Well, maybe a guy could make that uh, where maybe if you uh, solder it to a hose clamp here and then maybe you know some type of a hose clamp to there maybe you can make this be adjustable I think th if I remember right I think this is where the SWRs um, are kind of preset and obviously if you solder it like they want you to do you, you know you can't really adjust it easily but um, I think I've seen some that people made this area be adjustable uh, but you'll have to play with that but at any rate um, I believe this antenna if I remember correctly it does about a three I, th I want to say three dBi uh, gain on this particular antenna um, yeah and I also too it doesn't say here in the, in the information but I've seen on other websites where the material they used to make this was copper tubing, a half inch diameter, uh, so, you know, soldered. All of it will have to be soldered together. So can you use something else? Perhaps, maybe. You'd have to play with it. Um, I may also build one of these. I don't know if I'll use the high, half inch copper or if I'm going to try. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. But you enter your frequency up here, and then it tells you these measurements here will change. I'll show you here, and like uh, I'll put 460 in just for just just to show you. And as you can see here, all this should change, and that's how pretty much simple it is. Um, yeah, so just enter it in. So kind of pick the center frequency will be my recommendation for your. Uh, for GMRS, pick the kind of the center one of all the frequencies. That kind of gives you, you know, a little leeway either way. Um, but yeah, that's what they're saying. This 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 antenna is supposed to really outperform the quarter wave, and also um, I think it was a half wave too. I read supposedly outperforms those two antennas. Um, but I'm just going by what I read, so. It, you know, a lot of sites actually did say that. So, um, but anyway, right, there you are. Like I say, it looks fairly easy. Just pay attention where the arrows are exactly. So, uh, just make sure you watch that. Uh, but anyway, right, I um, will be building some antennas here. I actually have one built. I did a full wave, which is going to be an interesting video. Because you can't miss out on that one. Um, some interesting things I found out. At any rate, uh, thank you. Please subscribe and have a good day.